Sixth grade, module four, lesson 31, classwork. Example one, Marcus reads for 30 minutes each night. He wants to determine the total number of minutes he will read over the course of a month. He wrote the equation T equals 30 D to represent the total amount of time that he has spent reading, where T represents the total number of minutes and D represents the number of days that he read during the month. Determine e which variable is independent and which is dependent. Then create a table to show how many minutes he used read in the first seven days. So first, let's talk about the difference between an independent variable and a dependent variable. So the independent variable can change, and when it does, it affects the dependent variable. So the dependent depends on the independent variable. So for example, in this, I feel like it's easier to give examples than give the definitions. So let's talk about what that means. So if he reads 30 minutes every night, the total minutes read would be the dependent variable or 30 total minutes read because the total number of minutes read in four, five, six, seven days depends on the independent variable and the independent variable would be the number of days. So the total minutes read depends on the number of days. So let's put that in a chart. So let's, we have the number of days. or D that said, let D represent the number of days. And then we have total minutes read. Total minutes read. And that is equal to 30 D. Because the total is equal to 30 times whatever the number of days is. So if Marcus reads for one day, for 30 minutes total, that would be 30 minutes read. If he reads two days, two times 30, that would be 60 minutes read. Three days would be 90 minutes read. Four days, four times 30 is 120. Five days would be 150 minutes. Six days would be 180 minutes. And seven days would be 210 minutes. Okay, let's try another one. Example two. Kira designs websites. She can create three different websites each week. Kira wants to create an equation that will give her the total number of websites she can design given the number of weeks she works. Determine the independent and dependent variables. Create a table to show the number of websites she can design over the first five weeks. Finally, write an equation to represent the number of websites she can design when given any number of weeks. So independent variable and dependent variable. So we know she can create three different websites each week. So the number of websites each week is going to be the dependent variable. Because the number of websites designed depends on the independent variable, which would be um, the number of weeks that she works. So let's put that in our chart. We have the number of weeks worked. Which would be W. And then the number of websites designed. Or D, how many she designs. So if she works one week that would be three websites. If she works two weeks, so two weeks, three websites each week, two times three would be six. She works three weeks, three, so what we're doing each time is times three is nine. She works four weeks times three websites, that would be 12 websites. She works five weeks times three websites each week, that would be 15 websites. So what we ended up doing each time was taking the W and multiplying it by three 
and then we got the number of websites designed. Or 3w equals d. 3w equals the number of websites designed. Example 3. Priya streams movies through a company that charges her a $5 monthly fee plus $1.50 per movie. Determine the independent and dependent variables. Write an equation to model the situation and create a table to show the cost per month given that she might stream between 4 and 10 movies a month. Okay, so the dependent variable would be how much she is paying per month because that's going to change. So the dependent variable, I'll start with that one because it always depends. It's the total cost per month. And that depends on the number of movies that she watches. So let's do number of movies, we call that M, and then total cost. Per month. We'll call that C. Okay, so we know that if, and we want to know between four and ten movies. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so if she were to watch four movies per month, so there's a five dollar monthly fee plus a dollar fifty per movie. So it would be five dollars plus a dollar fifty times four movies. So a dollar fifty times four movies, that would be six dollars plus five dollars would get us eleven dollars per month. So now, since I figured out the first one, the second one is just gonna be a dollar fifty more. We could do the same thing. We could do five dollars plus a dollar fifty times five, a dollar fifty times five would be seven dollars and fifty cents plus five dollars would be twelve fifty. We can do dollar signs. But I'm just gonna add a dollar fifty every time because we're adding one movie per time, which is a dollar fifty. So a dollar fifty plus twelve fifty would be fourteen dollars. Then we would have fifteen fifty. Then we would have seventeen dollars. 1850 and then $20. So here is kind of our equation. So each time we did 5 plus $1.50 times the number of movies m is equal to the total cost per month. And there's other ways you could write around. You could change it and say C is equal to $1.50 M plus 5. As long as you have this same equation, some form of it, you can switch the 1 and 5 tenths M plus 5 and make it 5 plus 1 and 5 tenths M. Um, but as long as you have something in that that looks similar to that, then you have a correct equation. Exercises. Number one, Sarah is purchasing pencils to share. Each package has 12 pencils. The equation n equals 12p, where n is the total number of pencils and p is the number of packages, can be used to determine the total number of pencils Sarah purchased. Dependent, determine which variable is dependent and which is independent. Then make a table showing the number of pencils purchased for three through seven packages. Okay, so let's start by finding the dependent and independent variables. So let's see which one depends on the other. So we have the total number of pencils and P is the number of packages. So the, I would say the total number of pencils depends on the number of packages we have. So let's see, total number of pencils equals dependent 
and total number of packages. would be our independent variable. So let's put it in here. So we have number of packages. And that was P and then total number of pencils. They've already given us the equation of N is equal to 12 P. So we could do n is equal to, let me do that again. So n is equal to 12p. So, and we want to know purchase three through seven packages. So we have three power five, six, seven packages. Each one has 12 pencils. So three times 12 would be 36 pencils. Four times 12 would be 48 pencils. Five times 12 would give us 60 pencils. Six times 12 is 72 pencils. And seven times 12 would give us 84 pencils. Number two, Charlotte reads four books each week. Let B be the number of books she reads each week and let W be the number of weeks that she reads. Determine which variable is dependent and which is independent. Then write an equation to model the situation. Okay, so when we're looking at it, I see that the number of books she reads each week would be dependent on the number of weeks that she reads. So number of books Let's start with independent. So number of weeks is the independent variable and number of books read would be the dependent variable. So let's put number of weeks as W and the number of books as B. Uh, make a table that shows the number of books read in under six weeks. So less than six weeks. So this would be five, four, three, two, one. So in one week, it says she reads four books each week. So one week times four books would give us four total books. Two weeks times four books a week would give us eight. Three times four would give us 12 books. Four times four is 16 books. And five times four would be 20 books. So now we need to write an equation to model what we did. So we took the number of weeks and multiplied it by four. So we have four times the number of weeks gave us the number of books read equals B. So 4W equals B, or you could write B is equal to 4W. Number three, a miniature golf course has a special group rate. You can pay $20 plus $3 per person when you have a group of five or more friends. Let F be the number of friends and C be the total cost. Determine which variable is independent and which is dependent and write an equation that models the situation. Then make a table to show the cost for five to 12 friends. Okay, so first independent and dependent variable. So the amount of money that it's gonna cost is dependent on how many friends you have. So the number of friends is independent and total cost is dependent because the cost is dependent on the number of friends you bring. So we have number of friends is 
They said that is F, and then we have total cost, which we're going to label as C for now. We'll work on an equation later. Okay, and we want to know the cost for 5 to 12 friends. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 friends. Okay, over to the equation. So you pay $20 plus, plus $3 per person. For, so our number of friends, you pay $20 plus $3 per friend. And that's going to give you our cost. So there's our equation. Now we just need to plug it in for each one. So $20 plus $3 per friend, if you had five friends, that would be 20 plus 15. So if you brought five friends, it would cost you $35. If you brought six friends, you could just add $3 to that because it's one more friend. Or if you want to do the equation, so say you brought six friends, $20 plus $3 times six friends will give you 20 plus $18 or $38. So I'm just going to go through and add 3 to each one for, to add on the extra friend. So there's our equation, and that's how much it costs for each total number of friends. Number 4. Carlos is shopping for school supplies. He bought a pencil box for $3 and he also needs to buy notebooks. Each notebook is $2. Let T represent the total cost of the supplies and N be the number of notebooks Carlos buys. Determine which variable is independent and which is dependent and write an equation that models the situation. Then make a table to show you the cost for one to five notebooks. Okay, so we wanna know, let's see, well, we know he bought a pencil for $3 and he also needs notebooks. We know each notebook is $2. So the total cost is going to be the dependent variable because it's going to depend on the number of notebooks he buys. So number of notebooks is the independent. And the total cost is the dependent variable. So we're going to have number of notebooks and total cost. Okay, so the number, it says let the total cost of the supplies and N, let T represent the total cost. So this is T. And N is going to be the number of notebooks. And we want to know the cost for one to five notebooks. So one, two, three, four, five. So if he bought one notebook, first he has, he always buys that pencil box for $3, plus the number of notebooks would be two times however many notebooks he buys is going to get us the total cost. So there's our equation. Now we just need to plug in everything into the equation. So if you bought one notebook, he's got $3 for the pencil box plus $2 times one notebook would be 3 plus 2, so that's $5 for one notebook and a pencil box. If you were to buy two, so $3 plus 2 times two notebooks would be three plus four or seven dollars. So for each additional notebook, it's two more dollars. So I'm just gonna add two to each one. So if we bought five notebooks, it would cost $13. And that is the end of the classwork.